Okay, here's some quick tips on how I like to sharpen knives. Um, I sharpen with a belt. Some people prefer a stone, whatnot. I like using a belt. Um, this is a fairly not real expensive machine, but it's a 1x42 battle door. I like using the one inch belts. Um, I've sharpened knives on little 1x30 three wheel machines from Grizzly and Harbor Freight that are very inexpensive and will work for this process. This is just a, a quick and easy way of sharpening knives, which I prefer. Um, I start with a 220 grit belt, and that's the only gritted belt I use. Um, I like having extra teeth in the edge. Um, I don't want it really polished. Uh, it'll still shave hair when it's done, but it's not uh, smooth enough where it'll push material away. Um, it gives it a little more bite. Um, I use cling spore belts in the 220. These are CS310s X weight. I get these from Pops Knife Supply in Georgia. They're on the internet. They're very good people. Um, the X weights have a stiffer back. Um, I like that because I'm doing flat grinds with convex edge and I want to push on it, I want pressure, but I don't want it to just kind of curl around. If you're doing a blade that's got more curve to it, something like this, you might want to use a more flexible belt to get into these curves a little bit better. That's all personal preference though. Um, for me, the flat grinds and the convex edge curls down. So when I'm putting light pressure on this, the belt will flex and go around that arc. And that will grind in that little wire edge that I'm looking for, kind of like uh, what was on the little tin soldiers or the plastic uh, toy soldiers, G.I. Joe soldiers that you get as kids. That's what we're trying to knock off here at the end. Um, let me zoom into this so you can see a little bit better. Or try to, I'm not a cameraman. Okay. Alright, safety glasses. I usually have a lamp here, but for purposes of video, I'm not going to use the lamp. I don't normally gauge everything as far as degrees and whatever of sharpening. I usually do it by eye. Um, it can go anywhere from 15 to 30 um, degree angle, whatever you prefer, whatever you leave the edge at. Start back here at your Choil Ricasso area. Like I said, light pressure. All the way to the tip. Side. And dunk it in a little water. We want to keep our edge hard, which means not getting it hot. Usually, it only takes a couple passes to bring up that wire edge. As I'm doing this pass, the belt is pushing material this way. So I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to go along here and feel for that wire edge. And once you can feel it all the way up, you can switch to the second step, which is a leather belt. This will knock off your wire edge and put a slight polish to it also. Leather belts will stretch over time a little bit. So you always want to push up on it and lock it in place because you don't want the belt flapping at you. If it's loose, it'll do that. That could be dangerous. A little bit of white buffing compound. This is matchless mirror white that I like using. And you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to tilt it back a hair because you just want to knock that wire edge off. It usually only takes a pass per side. With a larger blade, you might want to take two passes. And that right there will do the job. Leather belts don't heat things up as much either. I don't have very much hair left on these arms. But you can see it knocks the hair right off the arm. And that's the way I like sharpening. It's quick and easy. Let me zoom back out. That's not zooming out, is it? Alright. 1x30 or 1x42 belts, depending on your machine. Stiff back, 220 grit. Get your wire edge up, then switch to your leather with a little white compound, knock that wire edge off, and you're ready to go. That's the way I like to do it. Hope this helped. Take care.